Two years ago, no one knew about the existence of iShowSpeed. It had a very small YouTube community of just 10,000 subscribers. A year later, it got 4.5 million subscribers. Today, Speed has 12.3 million subscribers and a steadily growing audience. However, his rise to fame has been very controversial due to his words and actions that have gotten him into numerous problems. He has been repeatedly suspended on YouTube and permanently banned from Twitch and Valorant. He was even handcuffed by authorities after being falsely accused by an internet troll of wanting to harm himself and his family. Yet, despite all these controversies, iShowSpeed has become extremely popular and built an audience of millions in just two years. But what kind of strategy has this YouTuber used to become so popular? Stay to the end to find out the answer. iShowSpeed is an American YouTuber from Cincinnati, Ohio. He started gaining fame after his fan base started posting memes about him on TikTok. Hey, I'm gay! What the fuck? My bro, tell all my lights keep he created his account on March 21, 2016, but did not post a video until December 21, 2017. In 2018, his Fortnite stream averaged two viewers. There's a saying that bad publicity is good publicity. Just think about how many of your favorite celebrities became famous after being involved in a scandal. iShowSpeed has been able to leverage his personality and controversial statements to attract the attention of a larger audience than most of us could ever dream of. When the COVID-19 pandemic began, he began to take his career as a content creator and streamer seriously, doing streams on NBA 2K and Fortnite Battle Royale video games. With the help of his streamings, he managed to create a small community and experience modest growth on the platform. In June 2020, he started averaging 10 viewers per stream and gaining 150 new weekly subscribers. However, things took a drastic turn in 2021. One day, Darren began experiencing fits of rage during most of his video game streams. He would yell and throw things when frustrated to channel his rage. Before he knew it, he had become a rage quitter. Rage quitters are the kind of gamers who hate to lose, have trouble controlling their emotions, and quit a game or match before it's over. If you have ever slammed your controller on the ground or your keyboard while playing, you know what I'm talking about. Modern online video games are frustrating by nature. While in an offline game, no one will judge you for dying. In an online game, you can become a laughingstock and be the victim of ridicule from your rivals. However, there are other factors that make online video games frustrating, such as losing a game because one of your teammates has trolled you or disconnected. In Speed's case, his meltdowns were more common than average. He used to experience anger all the time, whether he was playing Valorant or streaming Mario Brothers. You only need to look up a compilation of his worst rages to discover that all games are capable of frustrating Darren. Ironically, these meltdowns would become the secret behind his brand's success. iShowSpeed's fits of rage made him immensely popular. His fans began to spread clips of his broadcasts on social networks like TikTok, catapulting the streamer to fame. These viral clips propelled him from 100,000 to 1 million subscribers in less than two months. iShowSpeed's fame is closely linked to his ability to get angry easily. It is for this very reason that iShowSpeed has one of the most toxic communities on the internet. People who watch iShowSpeed want to see him get angry, because they consider watching him yell and punch things in front of the camera funny. Because of this, iShowSpeed's brand has become a double-edged sword, leading to the streamer having to up the ante to keep his audience entertained. Think of it this way. What would you do if every time you got angry in a stream, you got more views and subscribers? Exactly. You would do the same on your next streams to keep growing your audience and making more money. But unfortunately, that's one of the worst things you could do to become an internet celebrity. The internet is becoming more toxic every day. Channels that promote this kind of content are responsible for thousands of young people replicating these behaviors in front of their friends because they think it's funny. But while YouTubers like Speed make money from their angry outbursts, they also suffer the consequences. They are victims of their own content creation. The job of a streamer can be very mentally draining. Yet, I've heard hundreds of people saying that streamers should get a job without knowing how mentally draining can be the life of a streamer. I lose my fucking mind, bro. I'm sorry, dude. I know that we're, I know we were supposed to play all day. I, I, I can't. It's all good, man. I'm all sorry, good. dude. I, I'll talk to you later, Sai. Chat, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be live, man. I don't know where I'm going to be live next, but I got to I got to get off, man. Streamers are one of the biggest victims of internet toxicity. They receive hurtful messages and comments, are harassed on social media, and their families are threatened. And some of the creepiest fans go so far as to follow them home or knock on their doors late at night. 
iShow Speed has succeeded on YouTube thanks to its community, but this same community often pranks him daily. However, there is a slight difference between laughing at iShow Speed and being responsible for his suffering. Let's take, for example, that time Speed was arrested for a prank that stressed him and his family. That's not humor, that's a crime. I show Speed has been able to beat YouTube's algorithm to build his own audience at an accelerated rate. Unfortunately, he's done it the wrong way, which is why he's gained one of the most immature fan bases on the internet. Before I continue with this video, I'd like to clarify something. Watching I show Speed does not automatically make you a bad person. He has genuinely funny videos and an ability to make every minute of his lengthy broadcasts entertaining to watch. But hidden among Darren's loyal followers are hundreds of people whose only joy is watching Darren have a bad day. This constant toxic influence from his community has made Speed willing to commit more and more crazy things to keep his followers entertained. Let's now analyze the reasons that have led to I Show Speed ending up being banned for life on Twitch. This is unlike the typical bans Twitch usually imparts and lifts after three days since Darren is officially considered persona non grata for the platform. Towards the end of 2021, iShowSpeed had a date with the influencer Ash Cash during the Aiden Ross stream. While on the Discord date, he made extremely serious and threatening comments. Things quickly got out of hand when Speed threatened Ash with sexually assaulting her. If we the last two people on Earth, who gonna stop me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, on, come on, come on. Although Aiden Ross intervened, Twitch did not take Speed's comments lightly. He issued a permanent ban for the streamer for sexual coercion or intimidation. In 2022, he was also banned by Riot Games due to his toxicity and sexist comments. During a game of Valorant, Speed began to abuse both a male and female player in a very childish and rude manner. What? what bitch? Bitch? Is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Am I no, 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 am I tripping? Despite the incident, Speed managed to capitalize on it further and increase its audience. The situation caused by Speed sparked a whole debate on social media. While his followers were upset that the streamer had been banned, most people were happy to see Speed finally get what he deserved. Unfortunately, there are hundreds of thousands of toxic users in online gaming, and Speed is just one of the many that you might encounter while surfing the internet. But by creating this kind of content, Speed only compounds the problem. Many people who watch Darren's streams daily may be willing to make the same offensive content that the American streamer makes to attract more viewers. Some people believe that iShowSpeed's rise to fame was a matter of luck. Others that iShowSpeed had it all planned out. However, if we look at its growth, we can see it has been a mixture of both. iShowSpeed was already a dedicated streamer, but he needed a little push to get his career off the ground. Thanks to the popularity of TikTok and his fits of rage, he managed to position himself on one of the most competitive platforms in the world through his viral clips. However, just because iShowSpeed got lucky early in his career doesn't mean he doesn't know what he's doing. He acts out some of his angry outbursts to get more views and make more money. Unfortunately, iShowSpeed's controversial personality is also a reflection of his emotional instability. He's too young, so he may not be aware of some of the mistakes he's making. This is not to say that he deserves to be excused, but that he needs someone to help him rectify himself. Because as long as iShowSpeed keeps interacting with his audience, his problem will only worsen. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to find out how the most popular YouTubers beat the algorithm. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.